The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet, their voice goes out into all the earth. They are ways to the end of the world. Amen. Please let us continue by singing children's hymn number three. We shall sing all the three stanzas. songs of praise while we bring our tithes. Hallelujah. Mita deke mi wo lefe di Christo la ke ja
confess our sins to God. The Bible says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Please confess all your sins to God and ask him for forgiveness. Let us pray. Let us prayerfully sing Praise Be Him numbered 418, the first stanza only. Just as I am without one plea. The Holy Spirit is in our midst right now. Let us ask him to fill this room. 
empower everyone who is to play a role here today and give them retentive memory so that whatever would be done would be to glorify the name of the Lord. Shall we pray? Let us end our prayers. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you for answering all our prayers. We also bring this tithe before you, including our whole bodies. Lord, we ask you to purify and bless it so that whatever this money would be used for in this church would be a blessing. We also believe that as your children have been obedient to your command, you will fulfill your promise to them and give them peace in their bodies through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Please let us sing Presby hymn number 227, the first two stanzas. Jesus Christ is King of all kings. Church choir will give us an anthem.
Our first Bible reading is taken from Genesis chapter 41, verse 1 to 7. Then we continue from verse 37 to 46. Genesis 41, verse 1 to 7. Then we continue from verse 37 to 46. Let's hear the word of God. Joseph interprets the king's dreams. After two years had passed, the king of Egypt dreamt that he was standing by the river Nile, when seven cows, fat and sleek, came up out of the river and began to feed on the grass. Then seven other cows came up. They were thin and bony. They came and stood by the other cows on the river bank, and the thin cows ate up the fat cows. Then the king woke up. He fell asleep again and had another dream. Seven ears of corn, full and ripe, were growing on one stalk. Then seven other ears of corn sprouted, thin and scorched by the desert wind, and the thin ears of corn swallowed the full ones. The king woke up and realized that he had been dreaming. We are continuing from 37 to 46. The king and his officials approved this plan, and he said to them, we will never find a better man than Joseph, a man who has God's spirit in him. The king said to Joseph, God has shown you all this, so it, if, it is obvious that you have greater wisdom and insight than anyone else. I will put you in charge of my country and all my people will obey your orders. Your authority will be second only to mine. I now appoint you governor over all Egypt. The king removed from his finger the ring engraved with the royal seal and put it on Joseph's finger. He put a fine line rope on him and placed a gold chain round his neck. He gave him the second royal chariot to ride in, and his guard of honor went ahead of him, and cried out, Make a way, make a way. And so Joseph was appointed governor over all Egypt. The king said to him, I am the king. And no one in all Egypt shall so much as lift a hand or a foot without your permission. He gave Joseph the Egyptian name, Zaphenat Penia, and he gave him a wife, Asen Asenat, the daughter of Potipharia, a priest in a city of Heliophilus. Joseph was 30 years old when he began to serve the king of Egypt. He left the king's court and traveled over all the land. This is the word of God. Our second Bible reading is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 3 to 9. Let's hear the word of God. Thanksgiving and encouragement. I give thanks to God, whom I serve with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did. I thank him as I remember you always in my prayers night and day. I remember your tears, and I want to see you very much so that I may be filled with joy. I remember the sincere faith you have the kind of faith that your grandmother lost and your mother Eunice also had. I am sure that you have it also. For this reason, I remind you to keep alive the gifts that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. 
For the spirit that God has given us does not make us timid. Instead, his spirit fills us with power, love, and self-control. Do not be ashamed, then, of witnessing for our Lord. Not be ashamed of me, a prisoner for Christ's sake. Instead, take your part in suffering for the good news. As God gives you the strength to do it, he saved us and called us to be his own people, not because of what we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. He gave us this grace by means of Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. This is the word of God. Praise Dynamics. Please minister to us once more. Hallelujah. Redeem, redeem, 
taking from Matthew chapter 14 verse 13 to 21. Matthew chapter 14 verse 13 to 21. Let's hear the word of God. When Jesus heard the news about John, he left there in a boat and went to a lonely place by himself. The people heard about it. So they left their towns and followed him by land. Jesus got out of the boat and when he saw the large crowd, his heart was filled with pity for them, and he healed those who were ill. That evening, his disciples came to him and said, It is already very late, and this is a lonely place. Send the people away and let them go to the villages to buy food for themselves. They do not have to leave. Jesus answered, You yourself give them something to eat. All we have are five loaves and two fish. They replied, Then bring them here to me. Jesus said, He ordered the people to sit down on the grass. Then he took the five loaves and two fish, looked up to heaven, and gave thanks to God. He broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. Everyone ate and had enough. Then the disciples took up twelve baskets full of what was left over. The, peak, the number of people who ate was about 5,000, not counting the women and children. This is the word of God. Let us continue by singing Praise Be Him number 644. We shall sing all the three stanzas.
Shall we please take our seats? Ask the person by you. I want to pray for you in one minute. What do you want me to pray about? Ask the person. I want to pray for you in one minute. What do you want me to pray for? All right. Now, you are coming to pray for the person on that particular thing for one minute in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That one minute will do a lot. The Lord will use that prayer. In the name of Jesus. 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 He has promised and he will never fail. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Believe in that prayer. Believe in that prayer. And know that you will receive a testimony. In the name of Jesus, God will give you a testimony. God will give you a testimony. God will give you a testimony. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for answered prayer. We thank you that today, O oh God, you will unveil unto us certain truth of your word and we will walk with it, that we will continually experience your glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are here to let us experience another aspect of God which is so glorious in his word that all our generations oh God will walk in it in the name of Jesus Amen Oh hallelujah tell yourself I am in the image of God I carry the glory of God hallelujah Romans chapter 3 verse 23 a very popular scripture for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God now when we talk about glory then we I want to take it from this aspect it means that when God created you and I he created us glorious oh hallelujah God created you glorious the way God is that is the same way God made us but because of sin we became short of the glory of God so how can we receive this glory and how can we grow in this glory so that right in the womb right in the womb you will begin to experience the glory of god to eternity oh hallelujah david said i was born i was conceived in sin and i was born in sin but we have come to the understanding in this uh, time that Jesus has paid our sins. He has cleansed our sins with his blood. And therefore we have hope that yes indeed the glory of God will be seen in our life. Uh, uh, let's us be logic over here some more. Let's be logic here. Now let us assume that the glory of God is something like the water bottle and it is short. It is short. Now, 
you have to fill it with water hallelujah so that it will become full or so far as we have the salem water or the vortic water or whatever awake or what whatever you see that the container when you pour the water out or you drink the water you still have some drops of water inside is that not it is that not it so can we say with this understanding that no matter who a person is the person still carries some aspects of god's glory and that is why god is making sure that that person will come to the fullness of that glory in christ jesus and that is why we don't need to blame anybody because god looks at the person and say no no matter how sin has covered you you still have some drops of my glory and i will make sure that you come out of sin and you experience the full glory of god in the name of jesus i pray that whoever is in your family and as you are here anything that has become unrighteous that is covering the glory of god in your life and the glory of god is not being seen may the lord may his blood speak for you in the name of jesus oh your amen is weak oh in the name of jesus amen the bible says in corinthians that as as they prayed they said amen they said amen to the prayer they said amen i am praying that the blood of jesus will continue to speak for you oh the blood of jesus will continue to speak for us that we will experience the glory of god when we talk about glory it's something that is excellent so god created us excellent something that is beautiful god created us beautiful hallelujah hallelujah now the theme for today experiencing the glory of god from childhood experiencing the glory of god from childhood and the passages that we have read what are the lessons that we can learn there so that we will walk with it and then we will experience the glory of god i want to assure you that if yesterday if yesterday your mother your father or your family did not do the right thing or did not do the will of god and it has made sin and the devil to have access into your family i tell you today when you stand when you stand your generation they will experience the blessing of god hallelujah it doesn't matter what what has happened because you can't change yesterday you can never change yesterday we have three days and and and, and yesterday you can change it but you can change today to get a better future so don't blame your fathers don't blame your four parents don't blame anybody but see yourself that no this is my generation this is my time that i will position myself that god will use me so that the generations that will come after me they will experience the glory of god may we receive that grace in the name of jesus may we receive that grace in the name of jesus so you can change things let yesterday be yesterday and make sure that you put yourself together and you have a better today so that you have the best tomorrow may you receive that grace in the name of jesus in the life of joseph we realize when when you take the scripture you will understand that joseph's father is is someone who have understood the mistakes he did and therefore if a child is born to you at your old age it's like oh okay 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 children to be with us because we talk and children to talk so we'll talk 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 hallelujah 
And that is why grandparents, they don't joke with their grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because anytime they see them, they will tell them stories. And then grandparents will have all the time to listen to their grandchildren. But we don't have that time. May God give us that time. Hallelujah. And so we thank God for the life of grandparents. If you are grandparents here, God bless you so much. Receive more grace to listen to all the nonsense of your grandchildren. Hallelujah. And so Joseph, being born to the father at that old age, Joseph realized, uh, Jacob realized that no, I made certain mistakes. And I must make sure that the child that is closer to me, that I love, I will teach that child. Last year, Reverend Ebenezer Ni Ajetesowa made us to understand that it is a big mistake for you as a parent to choose one particular child over the other. It is a big mistake. It is a big mistake. We don't have to do that. If you have five children, make sure you pray for the grace of God and then you love them. You can't love everybody equally, but at least you will show some kind of care for them and they will not feel that difference. May God give us that wisdom. May God give us that grace so that we can be able to love our children and bring them up in the fear of God that they will experience the glory of God because in this life, in every relationship, whether child and father or mother or whether pastor and, and congregants, whether friends, every relationship, the purpose of that relationship is to bring the glory of God. It's for the glory of God. And we are walking on this earth, we are passing through so that we will experience the glory of God because we started with the glory of God and we must end with the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, as the Lord made you in his glory, may you walk in that glory in the name of Jesus, that you will end in that glory in heaven and that you will see more of the glory of God in Jesus' name. Give God praise, give God praise. Joseph told the son that, son, let us assume that, son, I've made a mistake. I was a liar, and I want you to be truthful. I want you to be truthful, and I want you to be faithful. I want you to be trustworthy, because when I was trustworthy, the Lord blessed me. And I don't want you to repeat that mistake. So perhaps Joseph, uh, jo Jacob has been talking to Joseph because always Joseph is with him. So make sure you don't repeat what I did. Tell your children the mistakes. If your children grow to a certain state, make sure you reveal certain things to them so that they will not repeat that mistake because the tendency to repeat that mistake is very high. Because any path that you create, whether good or bad, your children will walk in it. But if you plant them in Jesus, and you bring them up in Jesus, and you make them to understand Jesus, and understand you, and they get an understanding and about themselves, they will walk in Jesus with faith. And they will begin to experience the glory of God in their childhood. And so Joseph grew up because the father of training to be truthful, he gets to the father and says, hey, my, my brothers, what they are doing is not good, though. You, go, you know, children don't lie. Am I lying? They say children don't lie. Children, do you lie? Hallelujah. And so, there are two things I want us to take from Joseph that he was trustworthy and he was faithful. Hallelujah. Joseph was trustworthy and he was faithful because the father had been able to train him in the fear of God. Joseph decided that I will walk in it. And the same thing happened. You know, we tell our children everything. 
Sometimes some, of, some parents do tell their children, but at least you have some stubborn child. It's not stubborn. It is because you were stubborn yesterday. So at least you should get some of your children to repeat that thing of you so that you will see the nonsense you gave to Jesus. Hallelujah. Then you say, hey, 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 but you have forgotten that you did that to your grandmother. You did that to your grandfather. It's today that God has granted you that grace. It's today that God has granted you that grace. So we must walk and teach the children so that they will experience the glory of God. I mean, God has already prepared his glory. He doesn't share his glory with anybody on earth. But in heaven, he shares his glory with us. So make sure that you will train your children. We will train our children that they will share in the glory of God. Jesus said, the glory in John 17 is the glory that you have given me. I want them to share in that glory. Jesus wants you to share his glory. Don't think that, yes, the word of God says that God does not share his glory with anybody. He wants us to understand that we will not take everything to ourselves. We will not be proud and then do things on our own, but we will rely on him. But as we rely on him, Jesus will share his glory with us. May you share in the glory of Jesus. In the life of Timothy, we also realize one thing or two things there. Timothy is someone who is one trustworthy and faithful but timothy normally is a shy type is a shy type so paul admonished we have children joseph was fearless but timothy we realize that he has that shy type so he said hey 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 timothy the spirit god has given you it's not the spirit of fear. It's the spirit of power. So rise up. Encourage your children so that they will bring what is within them, what God has deposited in them, so that they will live a life and then it will be a blessing. A blessing not only to your family, not only to the church, but to the entire world in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the third reading, we saw... I mean, Matthew did not record it, but John recorded it in John chapter 6, verse 5 to 13. John made it clear that there was a boy, there was a young boy. When Jesus was sharing this, there was a young boy there who gave his five loaves and, 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 and two fish. Hallelujah. Now, how, how, how on earth that the lunch that has give, I've given to you, my child, and you go and share, but the child trusts jesus he knows what jesus can do the child is having a generous heart the child is having a given spirit so he gave it out and at the end he went home with 12 baskets or with other gifts may we train our children if we want them to experience the glory of god from childhood to to eternity then we must train them to be generous to give to share hallelujah Hallelujah. And we also see some one key character there that compassion, compassion. We must teach our children to be compassionate, to be compassionate, to be compassionate towards their friends. And another key thing about Jesus, also there in Matthew, is that don't waste things. Tell somebody by you, don't waste things. Don't waste your food. Don't waste your time. Don't waste any resources because God hates those who waste things. Jesus said, no, gather. I don't want anything to go waste. If you cannot take it and you feel that, no, at least somebody will appreciate it. Don't waste things because it is against. So what can we do? The first thing that we can do to make sure that our children experience the glory of God from their childhood to eternity is for us to position ourselves in the faith and practice our faith. Obey the word of God. As simple. As simple. But it is not that simple. The reason is that we were born in a community, in a home, that we have a whole lot of things. This morning. So what can we do to make sure that our children they walk in the glory of God. What you will do as a parent 
as a young person coming that you will raise children is to be in Christ be in Christ let the word of God be in you and let prayer be part of your life let your faith be seen so that when your child sees you, how what you are doing they will also grow you see the Muslims the Muslims once a while when there's a big occasion like this their children will sit by them and all that their prayer everything that they are doing the, the, the children will see it and the children will practice what their parents and that's why sometimes it's very difficult to, 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 to just bring a child out of Islam let us train our children with our own life our own experience in the Lord so that as we walk in it if you like go and sleep God will protect your children. Do you know the reason why? Because always you are in the presence of God. And if you are in the presence of God, God will guide your children. Joseph went somewhere, but God made sure that what he has written. Why? Because he had a covenant with Jacob. He had a covenant with Jacob. And Jacob always makes sure that you have time with God. Lois, Timothy, he had the mother and the grandmother they were strong in the faith they practiced the faith that they believe in jesus and through that their children what life do you want to live for your children there is a day and this is the day that the lord has made for you and i to make things right so that we and our children will continually experience the glory of God let us pray talk to God concerning his word tell God to grant you the grace that you help the children pray for the leadership of the church that we will receive that grace to be able to take care of the children that our children will walk in the anointing they'll walk in the obedience of god pray for the children that god let them walk in you so we raise our right hand shortly and this is our prayer O oh Lord, you pray with me, please. O oh Lord, today I know that you are with me, that your glory is my portion. Help me to grow in your glory. Help me to experience your glory as I walk with you daily through your word so all so that all will come to the saving knowledge to the saving knowledge and they will also experience your glory especially my children and all my descendants till you Jesus come I hand it over to you the glory of God is our portion now and forevermore amen whom do you believe in Today, the 
the 26th of February 2023 is Children's Sunday on the theme Experiencing the Glory of God from Childhood. On behalf of the President Church of Ghana, Nativity Congregation and Session, you are warmly welcome to this holy place of worship. New members and visitors shall be introduced after the announcement. Our preacher for today has been Reverend Emmanuel Ago Ashite. And for next Sunday, God willing, we shall have Reverend Daniel Ankai Lawson, who is currently preaching the word at PCG Nazareth Congregation. La. Tuesday, 28th February, is closed session. Our morning devotions will come off at the various centers, so please take notes and partake fully. Lunchtime prayers comes off every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12.30 p.m. So if your work schedule is such that you can join us here to pray on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, please pass through for prayers. Thursday, 2nd March, is Tari. Our topic is building solid relationship. And our text is taken from James chapter 5, verse 16. It will be led by Rev. Presbyter Ebenezer Kosowa. Friday, March 3rd, 2023, will be Nativity Hour. It will be led by Rev. Daniel Lanka Lawson. Friday, our topic is Every mountain will vanish. And our text is taken from Zechariah chapter 4, verses 2 9. Our morning flame comes off this Saturday. And our topic is The Enemy Within. It will be led by Mr. Nathan Ama Ashikwe. Children's Week. This year's week celebration is being climaxed today with a Thanksgiving service and it will be done for the both service, so first and second service, so please take note. We shall partake in the Lord's Supper on Sunday, the 5th of March. Dearly beloved, if it's the will of God, we shall celebrate the Lord's Supper next week Sunday. Remember that the Lord himself instituted this holy sacrament when he said to his disciples, do this remembrance of me. He himself invites you to this table, at which the redeemed have fellowship with their brethren, and to receive through the sacrament the assurance of forgiveness of sins. Let each one examine himself in the light of God's word. Remember that he who continues to live in sin without repenting and amending his ways is not of Christ and shall not come near the Lord's table. Therefore, Examine your lives and see whether you are in the right way. Humble yourselves and acknowledge your sins. If you perceive your offenses to be such as are not only against God, but also against your neighbors, then you shall reconcile yourselves to them, being likewise ready to make restitution and satisfaction to the uttermost of your powers, being likewise ready to forgive others that have offended you, as you would have forgiveness of your offenses at God's hand. Let each one turn to him who pardons sin and renews the heart, and with thanksgiving, draw near to the Lord's table. Amen. And for this first and second match, that's Wednesday and Thursday, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. each day, will be coming here for speaking, so please take note. Wednesday, 1st March, and 2nd day, 2nd March, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., and then they will continue from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. each day. Vacancy. The church is in search of a driver between the ages of 25 to 50, with licensee to engage. Interested person should please send their CV and cover letter to the administrator, PCG Nativity Congregation La, before or on 13th March 
2023. Bans of marriage. We published the bans of marriage between Ebenezer Dodu and Kimberly Jan. This is their second time of action. And then Roland Duamenu and Na Matecho Sanka. This is their first time of action. If any of you know cause or just impediment why these two persons should not be joined in holy matrimony, you are to declare it. These Christian persons are hereby recommend to your prayers that they may receive grace to enter into the state of holy matrimony, to live in it as becomes Christian, and finally to obtain everlasting salvation. May God, who has himself ordained the state of marriage, give to these persons upon what they have purported in their hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Monies received during the week came to a total of 32,252 cities and 40 pesos. We also had 100, 100 pounds. Obituary. In the sure hope of the resurrection, we announce the death of Madame Jane O. de Mensa of Women's Fellowship. Her funeral arrangement will be communicated to you later. Thanksgiving. One of our members is thanking the Lord with 100 cities on the occasion marking her 64th birthday celebration. Another family is thanking God for giving them a baby and for the adoring that came on yesterday. They are thanking the Lord with a hundred Ghana cities. If I may ask, is there anyone here worshiping with us for the very first time? If today is your first time worshiping with us, or for some time you've been here but you've not been introduced, can you give us a wave? Okay, I think we are all old members. Oh, okay, I understand there's one here. Please, let, let, let's, let's clap for him. Please come forward. Please come forward. Please get him a microphone. Please tell us your name, where you are coming from, if you are to join us, you are just on a visit. Good morning to you all. Uh, we thank God for this kind of opportunity that I have today. I came from Kumasi and I've been working here almost getting to 10 years and I've not been to church before. This the church I always attend at Kumasi. So I decide to join you any time that I have chance to come here. Okay. My name is Aponsan Elisha. Okay, um, Brother Aponsan, please, after the service, take a seat here for us, okay? So we have a short audit. Please don't go yet. Please don't go yet. And then, Roland, Roland, and the friend. Roland and a friend, you know, if they are here, please. Roland. And a friend, you know, Matecho Sanka. Okay. Okay. Matecho, are you here? Please let's pray. 
Our dear Lord, we thank you and we give you glory for our dear brother who has come to join us to worship you. We pray committing him into your hands, O oh God, that may continually guide and protect him. In the same way, we pray committing that will be couples into your hands, O oh God. We ask, O oh God, whatever they seek to make this marriage successful, may you provide unto them. And may you meet them at the point of their need. In Jesus' name that we pray thanksgiving. Amen. Let's give thanks to the Lord. Shall we call Iris Joba to read the message from Clan Director? Message from the National Director of Church Life and Nature. Let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 18, verse 16. Now, thank we all our God, with heart and hands and voices. Indeed, the Almighty God deserves all our praise for the many wondrous things he has done for us. By the everlasting mercies of God, we are here together again, and with palpable joy to celebrate the 2023 Children's Week. Undoubtedly, our children's service teachers, the sessions and parents have played very significant roles towards effective nurturing of our children all these years. I take this rare opportunity to doff my heart to you all for the many sacrifices you made daily to the ministry to our children. God bless you all immensely. The theme for this church year is Christ in you, the hope of love. Brief exposition on the theme. The book of Colossians tells us that the church in Colossia was under attack from false teachers. They were teaching that Jesus Christ was not actually God. Apostle Paul therefore wrote to the church to address this falsehood. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 16 to 17, we learn that the false teachers were adding elements of Jewish laws to the Christian church. Paul teaches here that the moment we add any rule or regulation to the finished work of Jesus Christ, we have denied the full power of salvation by Christ Jesus, which we receive through God's grace. Also, in Colossians chapter 2, verse 18 to 19, the false teachers claim that man could not go directly to God through Jesus Christ. They believe that anything in the flesh is evil and saw Jesus as such. Paul emphasized that although Jesus Christ was in the flesh, he was fully God. Jesus Christ is the source of all nourishment, not angels or other beings or superior knowledge. Failure to look totally to Christ Jesus and the cross will ultimately lead to destruction. In addition, we see from Colossians chapter 2 verse 20 to 23 that the false teachers were adding elements on the way of the world. False humility, doctrines and teachings prescribed by men, and all other observances that focus on the self, unfortunately feature prominently in the church at Colossia. The negative effect of all who fall prey to such teachings is that, consequently, they will lose the hope of glory which comes only through Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, 
in our world today. We see religious practices very close to the colossal experience all around us too. In the case of our children, the cartoon networks on our television and social media in general are not safe for them anymore. Spells, magic, sorcery, wrong sexual orientation and the like dominate their content. Sometimes our children fall prey to unsuspecting wicked adults who abuse them in many ways. It is for this and many other reasons that we must take the nurturing of our children very seriously. In our bid to do this, let us make the team Christ in you, the hope of glory. Experiencing the glory of God from childhood, simple and practical for it to be relevant to our children, to save them from being turned from faith in Jesus Christ. How to help a child to experience God's glory. To help the child to experience the glory of God from childhood, our children service teachers, the parents and children have roles to play, the role of teachers. Teachers should help children to see and give some examples of God's glorious work and deeds. What things has God done that makes him bigger than everything? This way, the child will appreciate the glorious work of God thereby seeing God's greatness and worth. The role of parents. Parents must complement the church or teachers by reading and studying the word of God with their children through devotions. They should also pray with and for their children and go to church together with them. Parents must monitor what their children do. Parents must be interested in what books their children read and the movies they watch. Important also, it is the need for parents to set very good examples behaviorally. The way parents treat their children has a formative effect on the child's view of God. It is helpful for parents to provide their children with a definition of God's glory through the word of God. If parents fail to love their children unconditionally, it will be difficult for the children to understand and appreciate the love of God. The child Samuel, young Timothy, and the boy Joseph were taught and held to experience God at an early age, and they grew up to know and serve the Lord. God loves our children in the same way and will reveal himself to them if parents introduce their children to him. The role of the child. As teachers and parents make this effort, the child is expected to appreciate that everything God made, including man and therefore children, were made to exhibit or show the glory of God. Children are expected to respond to God's glory through obedience to God's word. Parents, teachers, and the elderly, holiness, that is staying away from sin. Without holiness, no one can see or experience God, loving God and what he has created. In conclusion, beloved in the Lord, let us all remember that the hope of glory is not meant for only adults. God has entrusted these children to our care. And we must do all we can for our children to also have this eternal glory which comes through Christ Jesus. It is my prayer in this divine duty. 
I wish you all a glorious children's suite, and may God bless you all. Amen. Reverend Joshua Bosman O'Henne, National Director, Department of Church Life and Nature. Let's continue with intercessory prayer. In Yastani, Odotai Sowa will lead us. Please let us bow down our heads in prayer. First and foremost, let us pray for all our children that they may come to know Jesus Christ as the personal Savior to experience the glory of God. Please let us pray. Secondly, let us pray that God should strengthen and empower all parents, guardians and children service teachers to be committed in helping the children by giving them some examples of God's glorious works and deeds. That makes him bigger than everything, to appreciate the glorious acts of God, thereby seeing God's greatness and worth. Shall we pray? Finally, let us leave the church before the Lord, that grace may abound and it will be committed to providing resources for its ministry so to children so that by that they will see God's greatness and worth. Shall we pray? your prayers. Father, we thank you for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Shall we invite Prince Dynamics to lead us through the offertory? Majo ye, majo ye, mi nyongo ye. Jemonu chobele ye, mi susuma. Majo ye, mi nyongo ye. Jemonu chobele ye, mi susuma. Majo ye, majo ye, mi nyongo ye. Jemonu chobele ye, mi susuma. Majo ye. Hey, what me be? 
my sister Rini Yemo will do the dedication of offer tree. So that we can always trust in you. You are God of abundance and out of your great mess. You have given us so much. We give you this offering today. With it, we worship and give our whole selves to you. Please now take it and use it for your kingdom and for your glory. May it be a great blessing to many. We ask all this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You stand at where you are. We are coming to pray and ask God to anoint the children. And every word that you will say, the Lord will anoint that word and separate the children for himself in the name of Jesus. Do you believe it? So you are coming to pray that God anoint these children because what is going on, you cannot stop it. It is the word of God. All those things must happen. But those that are in Christ will be saved. Therefore, we are praying that God separate our children. Separate our children. Separate them and anoint them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. La suke le 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 le. Li kata la 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 bo si le 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 karando lo lo bo si ay 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 ay. Bless our children. Shine upon ah, the anointing, the will let the children experience the glory of God is the language God has given you to your mother tongue one of the things you have experienced the glory of God more from your childhood to eternity is for you to let your children understand the mother tongue speak and pray in your language open your mouth and pray now Solomon ya yeso Christo ba vampire ba katse rade se e rade ma ingosra ingosra e be ma ikolano o menyini no menanti e wo mo pray in your language don't pray in english pray in your language unless you are our english unless you are our english don't pray don't pray don't pray there Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray 
in your language. Solomon, Solomon, you come in. Solomon, you come in. The quicker be here, I will not know what they do. No can not know what they do. For Amemo, Solomon, 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 Yemo, Yemo, any language. Pray in your language. Ah, the Katos, Lelelelelelea. The heaven is responding to your language. The heaven is responding to your language. That is the beauty. That is the glory of God. And as you speak in your language, may God remember your children. May God remember. No matter you be, we are ready. On kai wama, on kai wama, nukala. Oh yes, so Christo demo. On paya, on paya. Oh yes, so demo. If you can speak in French and you are French, ah, uh, open your mouth and do that. Those who are watching us, oh, pray in your language. Pray in your language for your children. Not only your children, but the children of the world. Pray that the anointing God will raise Joseph. God will raise Joseph. God will raise Timothy. God will raise Joseph. Ah, oh, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Pray that that anointing will come upon children. Solomon, no can any market. Erase it, Joseph. Erase it, Joseph. In the name of Jesus. Marco Celebri. When the anointing comes, it breaks every yoke. Ke mufo ba ekbala ni piame. O ke na nyo make no fe no ni nyo wokumi elajio na bajio lo mojio adi piara ewo me busi emo e ya no mio e ya real e ne e ne ewo yeso demo e na ngola no beji ingusrano e radi onyi sani emano ewo omako emo na moto mi ensum nyame na me nyi ameja nyobo solomo ya yeso ba me solomo 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 ano ya dono soli. Yes, of Christ of Bame. Whatever every cast in your family, no lomo fell lomo, no me fell no me. Whatever it is, when the anointing of God, when God speaks, can I know you say Eradica Sir from Paya Mancolano? They will grow in the fear of the Lord, they will grow and become like Joseph in our time, in our time, in our time, in our time. Solomon Solomon against jail. Oh, ye are here. Oh, you who oh, you know what's here? No, me, Piara, I want Balanimo, Rarina Copo, oh, you said, you know, oh, yes, Sodimo, pray for your grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Raise up your two hands, raise up your two hands, and, and, and you are praying that God release. Release it. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall on the children. Let that anointing fall on the children. And then I can move for Ebameno, 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 Ebameno. Beke biye, beke biye. Je press bi, beke bi pe. Se beke bi fe. Ni yo lama. Beke bi fe. Ni yo wagama. Se bono. Beke bi fe. Ni yo gana. Beke bi fe. E fe na me yo. Ah, move for, move for, move for. Wa ni ji ni wa wuno. No cha wa ke wa ke. Wa ni e. Wa ni Please, ushers, you direct the children. We don't have much time, but this is what God wants to bless the children for. So just wait patiently. Now, in the next few minutes, we will just anoint the children, we'll mark them, and we are trusting the Lord to take the rest. Oh, if you believe in shout, Amen. So as a song we are singing and and uh uh send your fanya direct we can be an amen fast fast so that we would have a touch with them in the name of Jesus. Continue please. Sing Wherever they are, they will be like the 
Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
same yesterday today and forever as you did in the time of joseph we are praying with this anointing you are raising joseph's you are raising timothy's lord begin it let it be billy graham prayed that the anointing of john wesley will come upon him and billy graham prayed and said as young as he was he said do it again do it again and father all over the world we heard of billy graham lord do it again for this children do it again for them we this seal we declare that lord you have begun a new thing and they will experience your glory in jesus name give god praise let's invite wendolin lamte to deliver the vote of thanks Sing joyful songs of praise and thanks to God the loving Father for all his wondrous works in us. I stand here on behalf of the children's service. I stand here on behalf of the children's service to express our deepest appreciation to the Almighty God for giving us the opportunity to celebrate this year's annual children's week successfully. Our next appreciation goes to our ministers, caretakers, with the entire leadership of the church for the immense support given to us to enable us to complete this program successfully. Finally, we would like to thank the various and generational service groups in the church for their effort in making this program a success. Our greatest appreciation goes to all who in diverse ways contributed to the success of this memorable celebration. May the Almighty God bless us all. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, Last Wednesday was Ash Wednesday, and we started our 40 days fasting journey as we reflect on our Christian life and repentance and asking God to renew our strength in Him. And since Wednesday, we've been coming here every evening from 5.30 to 6.30 to pray and break our fast and to ask God to be with us. Today, we are not coming because Sundays are not fasting days during Lent period. But tomorrow we are continuing. And so I want to invite you, if you have not been part of this exercise since it started, get involved. Whether you are fasting for one hour, two hours, six hours, or 12 hours, or even if you are doing fruit fast, or you are doing meat fast, or you are doing whatever fast you have called it, whatever happens in these 40 days, apply yourself to some kind of fasting. Recently, I heard somebody saying that he is doing a mobile phone fast. So, for one week, he will not touch his mobile phone, and he is fasting on mobile phone. So, whatever kind of fast you are doing, whether you are doing television fast or whatever, um, in this Lent period, do a spiritual exercise and put your mind to his word and pray and study the word and let us do it together. So every day, Monday to Saturday, 5.30 to 6.30, please let us come together and pray. And this year also, we want to do something special for our mothers, 
fathers, brothers and sisters who for one reason or the other are not able to join us on Sundays and other days as we gather like this. So, um, the Saturday after Easter Monday, when we have gathered here to have our amounts and we have celebrated and got all the merry, the Saturday after that, we will bring all our infirmed members, those who are at home who we normally administer communion to, and those who are not able to come to church every Sunday. We will bring them here on the compound and we'll have some medical screening, we'll fit them, we'll give them something to eat, something to drink. Singing band will be available to be singing for them and there will be a lot of games for them to play and make merry. When you visit them, sometimes some of them, they have been home for too long and they want to go out and also socialize a little. And these that I've said we want to do for them will involve money. All that I'm asking you to do is that as we are fasting, when we come to pray from Monday to Thursday and Saturday, we will not take any offering. What you should do is that take an envelope. From Monday, if you skip breakfast, maybe your breakfast is 100 cities. Maybe your breakfast is 5 cities. Maybe your breakfast is 10 cities. Put it in that envelope. Monday to Saturday. And then Sunday when we come to church like this, before we take the benediction, we will go around with the bowls and take those envelopes. And we will gather that money. And that's what we will use to um, celebrate our old men and our old women and our infirmed members. So please um, be part of it. If you are attached and you want to support that project also in another way, please you can see the administrator or the accounts office and make that special donation. But every Sunday from next week, for the next four or so Sundays before we have that program, every Sunday when we come, before we take the benediction, the ashes will go around with the bowl, just as we do during communion service. But this time, it is not communion service money we are taking. We are taking all the money that you have saved because you are fasting. So if it's television fasting, the light bill you will not pay because you are not putting your TV on. If it is phone fasting, the credit you will not buy because you are not using your phone. Put that money together, put it in an envelope, and let us take it and use it to bless our mothers and our fathers. Um, after second service today, the agents will want to meet all prayer secretaries, all prayer secretaries of the various groups. So if you are a prayer secretary of any group within the church, after second service, we want to meet you. And if you belong to any prayer team within this church, um, Bible study and prayer group, as for you, you are all members of prayer team. <laughs> and any other prayer team, the Monday prayer team, the Thursday prayer team, all of you, please, after second service, we want to meet you and have a discussion with you. God richly bless us all. We want to end our service by singing Presbyterian hymn number 476. We will sing the first two stanzas and the last stanza. 476.
and the last stanza. and commit yourself into the hands of God as we are living this place. Experiencing the glory of God from childhood. Pray that the glory of God will be shown unto you. That his light will shine forth in your life in the course of this week. That you will experience that glory, that Shekinah glory in the course of the week. Pray that his presence will be with you. That the power of God will overshadow you. Pray that everything that you will touch in this week will be blessed. And now place your right hand on your chest and bless yourself. Prophesy into your life. Say something good unto yourself. Make some good declarations in your life that it shall be well with you. That you will prosper and be in good health. Make some declarations. That you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, as they have declared, let it be so in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. And now go in peace. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ that peace that transcends all human understanding. May that peace rest and abide with you. May you be blessed in your going in and your coming out. May you find rest in your lying down and your standing up. Go as a blessed people of God. Amen. We recess with PHB 504. The ushers will lead us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Finnick. 